Well, Dick Butkus was known as the blue-collar hero of Chicago, and that legacy lives on. In a WGN exclusive, our Patrick Elwood shows us how the Butkus Foundation is teaming up with a toolmaker to boost the trades at the legendary football player's old high school. Welding can take us a long way, and it can take you a long way, too, because welding is one of the biggest things that's out there. On the city southeast side, we're trying to help out. At Chicago Vocational Career Academy, also known simply as CVS. The shop class is getting down to the nuts and bolts of things, if you will. We're just going to start utilizing those a lot more with the students. Say hello to Wesley Mickens, who's helping his students connect the dots to careers that are vital to our economy and our lives in modern society. I'm just trying to increase this program. That's trying to make a difference. Yeah, trying to make a difference. Mr. Mickens, as the students call him, caters to the kids who aren't going to go to that traditional four-year college. While many schools have gone away from shop classes, here at Chicago Vocational, it's expanding. These are what we will be hanging up. Cultivating careers in the trade, says this 18-year vet, should begin at the high school level. we got to get it back into the school because that's where it all starts from. Thanks to the generosity of others, the medals program here is now part of the curriculum. So we got all the welding equipment that we need. Enter the Dick Buckus Foundation. Oh, I was born and raised here, and it's good. I see my buddies out on the far south side. The Chicago Bears and NFL legend who passed away only several months ago. But before that happened, he and his son Matt, who still speaks of his father in the present tense. The name Mike Butkus, it's believe it or not, it's, you know, blue collar. You know, it's my dad's the youngest of nine. His dad worked for Pullman was an electrician, so everybody, you know, went to trade school. Along with Northern Tools, the Butkus Foundation is trying to tackle the growing problem of not enough people to fill the many trade jobs now and down the line. It was a good program, Tools for the Trades, and uh, I would love to be a part of it. These also have gas to go with them, so you can do the hot well or you can do the medium well. Northern Tools, now in its fourth decade, recognized a few years back this was an issue. We can have kids in high school get exposure to the trades and then decide for themselves whether they wanted a career in the trades or not. Krishna says millions of jobs are part of the equation. And in order for the U.S. to keep growing the economy, recruiting for the trades is a must do. Whether you're building roads, you're building buildings or factories, um, you know, you're welding, you're doing all those kinds of crafts, you're working with your hands. That's what built this country, that's what built this nation. Those helmets, what they do, they start out light and then they go dark. Which naturally brings us back to Mr. Mickens and his desire to do his part in that effort. He's quite confident that with the addition of the tools to now teach medals, it's another option for today's youth to prosper in the years ahead. Once they graduate, they narrow it down and they say, well, you know what? This is what I needed to do. I thank you for that. And that's, and that's where I'm at right now. It's the gift of life. Yes. Dick Buckus graduated Chicago Vocational in 1962. Through his foundation, Matt and his family promised to keep promoting the values that he so believed in. This gift to the school from Northern Tool in his name symbolizes, they say, everything he believed in. Work hard. Get up when you get knocked down and be kind outside of the game of football, of course. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.